30 years. That is how long two brothers have been fighting for justice. They were wrongfully imprisoned for murder, and they blame corrupt former Chicago police commander John Burge. NBC 5's Patrick Fazio shows us they're one step closer to clearing their names, but their fight isn't over yet. At what point and what time can I say I have my name back? Reginald Henderson and his brother Sean Tyler are still waiting for certificates of innocence to clear their records after their murder convictions were overturned in 2021. It kind of sucks that justice takes this long, but it is what it is. Tyler and Henderson say former Chicago police commander John Burge had cops torture them into falsely confessing to murder back in 1994. The so-called confessions that they gave were false because they were beaten out of them by these notorious police officers and that they served decades in prison for something they had nothing to do with. Being a father and a grandfather is, 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 is strenuous. Um, can you imagine the physical torture that we had to go through once? And now uh, the psychological torture. The brothers keep asking for their certificates of innocence, which the Cook County State's Attorney's Office has opposed until today's court hearing. Kind of hate that it took 30 years for it to happen, but, you know, nonetheless, I do appreciate them uh, removing themselves and uh, not opposing. We appreciate Kim Fox for doing what she's done and, 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 and stepping back from the case. Uh, but enough has been enough, not just for me and my brother, but for so many other people. Now, Tyler and Henderson are waiting for a judge to grant their certificates of innocence. They had us on the news for five days straight when this case happened in 1994. And I'm asking you guys, who are the media, to put us on five days straight to show the innocence. Their next court hearing is April 2nd. Patrick Fazio, NBC5 News.